Hello YouTube and welcome to Confidence Sailing and in today's video we're going to discuss all the things around getting the boat wrapped. My faded blue hull, it makes me sad cause the sun's been shining and that's too bad cause my GRP it don't like UV, it breaks down the colour as you can see. I said wrap my boat, wrap my boat, wrap my boat, I said wrap my boat, I said wrap my boat, wrap my boat. You can see the contrast between the sort of that shiny blue, the really nice reflective blue, which is the original uh, colour on this, but that's never really been exposed um, to the sunlight um, against the, uh, the the stuff that has, which is obviously on the higher sides of it, which is really looking worn and, and, and discoloured. See how dull it is here. It's just, there's no shine to it, no sheen at all. The dark blue absorbs quite a lot of the sun's rays and blue is notoriously bad uh, as a colour for boats because it does this, uh, it goes, you know, see this whitey, streaky colour. And we've polished it a couple of times year on year, but it's never really uh, won. And um, we decided it's a choice of either a repaint uh, or um, have a sticker put on. So that's, that's the sticker. So it's a vinyl wrap. Vinyl wrapping is the application of a self-adhesive, multi-layered, high-performance cast PVC film. It's very quick to apply. Confidence took only two days to wrap the entire hull. A full paint job, by comparison, would take a few weeks and is very sensitive to environmental conditions such as cold and rain. So the best results are achieved when the boat is painted in the summer months or under cover, which limits availability and increases your wait time. Wrapping is also significantly cheaper. Confidence was wrapped for around £2,500 in 2022, whereas comparative quotes for painting were upwards of £6,000. Wraps don't fade like paint. Our wrap is expected to retain its colour for up to 10 years based on UK weather conditions. The repair process is straightforward too. In essence, cut out a new piece and use a heat gun to activate the adhesive. And because it doesn't fade, it's easy to colour match any patches. So with those criteria in play, it felt like a no-brainer to choose to wrap the hull. The quotes are in, conversations over timings were had, and we booked it in. We're using a product called Oracal 970 Rapid Air, which is designed for wrapping cars and boats. And the first task, according to the application instructions, is to clean all surfaces to which the film is to be applied with isopropanol. Next, roll out the film and cut with a generous overlap. Remove the backing paper and stretch the film equally over the part of the boat to be wrapped, applying the film with big equal swipes of a squeegee. For curved surfaces, deep drawn areas, borders and edges, the film should be carefully heated with a hot air gun in order to activate the adhesive. And once the film has cooled, it can be carefully trimmed. It took two guys just two days to complete the entire boat, including the two stripes. And I hope you'd agree, it looks pretty damn awesome. You do need to allow a three day curing time before you launch it, which just happens to be the perfect amount of time for me to put two coats of anti-fouling on. So we moored up at East Cow's Visitor's Berth, and um, this is the A berth, and someone coming out of this berth uh, wasn't very good at steering. So they've gone into the side of our brand new wrapped boat one day after launch, and put a huge, well, put three scrapes down the side of it. Um, so we're not very pleased at the moment. So uh, we've moored starboard side alongside um, now, and uh, it's, uh, we can see much better uh, the damage that was caused here, 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 and here. So since the, uh, the initial accident, which was someone else's fault, uh, we've now done uh, one of our own. I didn't think it'd take too long, um, but I am a little disappointed with how easy this one was. Uh, this involved a coming together uh, of the uh, pontoon side, the wooden one, not in, not in this marina actually, but it's the same thing. That bit of wooden strake there, um, just touching the back of the boat as she pivoted round. And I'd got a fender set, but she rolled around and just touched. Another cause for concern is the staining here 
uh, around the diesel breather. As you can see, there's a yellow stain there. Now I've washed this whole area to try and get rid of it. Um, and that's just, uh, we fueled up a couple of days ago and there was some you know, minor bubbles coming out of the breather and that yellow stain doesn't look like it's gonna come off. So you find me in the dinghy uh, alongside the boat and uh, we're gonna take a look at these, uh, these repairs from the, the damage that was caused by a little scrape. Um, we're gonna have a look in detail at, uh, at these little patches that we put on. So we'll get up close and personal with this one. Uh, you can see that that's got a little bit of a, an indentation underneath it there. Um, but it's, it's not very visible. This one, uh, again, is a little bit bigger. Um, it's sort of the patch is quite oversized compared to the wound. Uh, and then we move down and we've got this one here, which is pretty small and seamless. And then the long one, and this one appears to be, I suppose, the thinnest. There. And you can still see a little bit of the of the marking where the scrape took place. But if you pull back, bear in mind how close I am to this. If you pull back, the argument is very different. You really can't tell. Or can you? Maybe you can. Vinyl is the de facto standard for boat lettering and general decals, so it would be a missed opportunity if I didn't get the Confidence Sailing logo pinned onto the bow. Yeah, there's one boat. The guys also replicated all the Elan logos, linings and markings very precisely, so she looks as good as the day she was launched. So this... Uh scratch was just coming alongside a pontoon very gently and uh, one of the fenders just rolled out of the way um, meaning that the boat scraped along the uh, its side there and um, if that was paint that wouldn't have damaged it at all but the wraps come, cr come completely off it's really soft and virtually any impact whatsoever just results in a huge scratch um, so that's very disappointing because that's the sort of thing that's just going to happen you can't really avoid it but the absolute worst of all uh, is the is what I'm about to show you next, and this really isn't acceptable. And there it is. That's uh, looks like that patch there or piece there is actually peeling off, which is pretty despicable. The black is the anti foul, but the white there is just peeling off. Some time later, the boat got lifted out, and you can see in this shot where the vinyls come away from the hull. Thankfully, the peeling had not got any worse. Obviously, as soon as we discovered this back in the summer, we'd approached our supplier immediately, who contacted the manufacturer. The emailed response was disappointing and badly spelt. It appears the waterline of your boat is in the incorrect position, being too low and needs to be risen. All our films are warranted above the waterline only. When the boat was handed over to the vinyl wrappers, the painted waterline was as it came from the factory when the boat was built. So to suggest it's in the wrong place is laughable. But even if that was the case, the installer has a duty of care to install the wrap in the right place to ensure it doesn't fail. The case continues. So the wrap, has it been worth it? Um, I think uh, it was very quick and it was relatively cheap compared to a proper paint job. But there's not really much, comp and, and the finish was immensely, it was brilliant, it was a really, really good finish. So from the aesthetic point of view, speed and installation part, absolutely no contender, and price as well. However, uh, it's not very hard wearing. Um, it might keep its UV a bit longer, but it's very, very difficult to berth a boat and not scratch it at all. And I'm not banging into things. These are not really big scrapes. Even the accident where, where two boats came together, you wouldn't have called it... I mean, and I'm pretty confident that the old hull wouldn't have seen any any uh, any real damage on it, and certainly the boat that crashed into us didn't have any damage. So I think this stuff is quite soft, and I'm not sure it's going to stand up to uh, the rigours of normal boating. So in conclusion, 
Yes, the wrap does get damaged very easily, and regular patching up is going to be a fact of life. But it looks amazing, and will continue to do so for many years to come. So I think overall, it was a good call. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.